Yes, me in here. I hope you all had a good three day weekend. Or four day weekend, if you know what I mean. Feeling rested? Kinda. It's Tuesday, March 7th, and there are announcements, per usual. Tardy consequences have been updated, so don't be late to class. And if you are, then go to detention. Skipping won't do anybody any favors. The newer stuff is that if you don't show up for lunch detention, you get after school detention. And if you don't show up for that, you get suspended and lose campus privileges. Including extracurricular involvement like drama or sports. So show up or don't be late to begin with. And if you see any Bullard Color Guard student today, be sure to congratulate them on their amazing performance last weekend. This is every member of the group's first competitive season and only their second performance they earned second place in their division, beating out four other schools including Edison and Hoover. Yay! Powder Puff is coming up. This is open to juniors and seniors. We need cheerleaders, football players and coaches. Sign up using the link on screen. There's also a coach sign up in the weight room. Check out the senior class Instagram if you're interested in that. Hey guys, I mean, this, that's, for, that's for you. Oh, guys, really important. Super Smash Bros Club has an event at Sunnyside High Library on March 11th from 9 a.m. Definitely bring your own controller and check that out. Last weekend, Bullard hosted a coder clubs fair for all the schools in the district. Let's hear a little more about how that went. Hi, my name is Adiv and I'm president of the Robotics Club. Hi, I'm Isabella and I'm vice president of the Robotics Club. Hi, I am Kane. And I'm Alina. And this is Retina. Can you tell us what Retina is about? This is meant to be someone's artificial eye and this is the project that won its first place over in the Steam Fair over the weekend. Also at the expo, we were met with Fresno State and in which we talked with them and we're going to work together with them in creating this artificial eye using machine learning. This is a prototype of Retina and this is wearable tech. We helped out at the expo and we loved engaging with students of all ages from Fresno Unified. Me and Isabella loved working on this project which would help better the future of our world. Have you ever wished you knew more? Cause, well, I certainly do. Well, there's a club on campus that will help you do just that. It's called the No More Club. Hi, I'm Marissa Guzman and today I'm here with Carissa Hawkins. And we're here to talk about the No More Club. What is the No More Club? Um, the No More Club is a club that promotes healthy teen relationships because one in three teens in the U.S. is the victim of physical, emotional, verbal, sexual, or digital abuse. What kind of events have you guys done? Um, you may have seen our tables out in the quad where we spread awareness about red flags that are warning signs to tell you that you could be in an unhealthy relationship because we all deserve a healthy relationship. How can others get involved? If you're interested in promoting healthy relationships, please come to our meeting at lunch tomorrow in room N106. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like I know more already. Sadie's, yay! Annie has something planned, as we will see. Hey. Um, we're here with um, Annie, and Annie plans on asking Nathan Hi. to Sadie. Yes, Nathan and I have been friends for a really long time, and I thought that we'd have so much fun at Sadie's together. So today I'm going to ask him. Yep, and he doesn't know yet. Mm -hmm. So I guess we'll find out. Try beating that. Remember, you can go with anyone to Sadie's. Your girlfriend, boyfriend, any friend. Just go. It will be fun. Jagger's also having fun, because he's at it again. This time, he's being schooled by our girls lacrosse team. So I'm Leslie, and I'm part of the varsity lacrosse team at Bullard. And I've been here for four years. And lacrosse is pretty fun. It's quite competitive. Um, I've made a lot of friends in lacrosse, a lot of my four-year long-term friends. Hi, my name is Annalise and I've been playing lacrosse since my freshman year. Um, my favorite part about being out here is just the girls. I love my girls. I love voting with them. It's just a real family out here. Hi, this is Coach Tamara. I'm the Bullard lacrosse coach. I've been coaching for the past uh, 12 to 13 years. So we're really excited for another season out here and hopefully get another championship rim ring. 
we're really excited for this season. We have a lot of returning seniors, so we think it should be a good year. Last year, we didn't quite make it to the championship, but this year, we're definitely hoping to get back to there. <laughs> you get hit in the face, it's over. Jagger, for his first time out here, actually did quite well. He was passing, we even got him in, in the goals, and he made a few saves. <laughs> Let me just tell you, it is not easy to make saves. That ball is a lot harder than you think it is, and it comes at you at a fast speed, so he did a great job in the nets, and we're just happy that he could come out here and show everybody a little bit about lacrosse. Go support our girls. It is Women's Month after all, and I hope everyone gives me money, because I am a woman. But really, March is Women's History Month, as proclaimed by the president last month. He said, and I quote, I call upon all Americans to observe this month and celebrate International Women's Day on March 8th, 2023, with appropriate programs, ceremonies, and activities. I also invite all Americans to visit womenshistorymonth.gov to learn more about the vital contribution of women's to our nation's history. And that's it. That's the episode. I had fun. I hope you had fun too. And I'll see you soon. Bye.